the player character can make several statements about their past through in-game dialogue options. They do not form part of their background until they have been selected. Below is a list of elements of the character's past which can be chosen through dialogue. During a conversation with Bruce Isaac and Novak, the courier can state that they have been to New Reno before and attended one of his shows at the Shark Club. When talking with Little Buster, the courier can suggest that they worked as a bounty hunter at some point. The courier is initially unaware of the rarity and value of the Sunset Sarsaparilla star bottle caps as Malcolm Holmes says the courier did not express any reaction upon finding their first one. Even if one has not made contact with the Brotherhood of Steel at Hidden Valley, the courier can state they have heard of the Brotherhood when conversing with Veronica for the first time and, upon passing an intelligence check, when interacting with Christine in Dead Money. The courier may also be aware of their technology obsession and their hostility with the NCR. During the dialogue with Veronica, the courier may mention not knowing where they came from. The courier can tell Cass that they do not know what a fish is. Or, on the contrary, an intelligent courier may test her knowledge about fish. In Dead Money, the courier can express unfamiliarity with Fev through their interaction with Father Elijah. When Elijah mentions the Big Empty, the courier may claim that they have never heard of it before. Before setting off to New Canaan, the courier can tell Jed Masterson that they have not been to Utah in some time, suggesting that they have been there before. In Honest Hearts, after passing a speech check, a dead horse stalker may express surprise with the courier's knowledge of the dead horses and the sorrows languages. In conversation with Joshua Graham, the courier may imply that they have never heard of Christianity, or at least the Mormon faith. In Old World Blues, the courier is revealed to have a special brain condition due to being shot in the head in just the right spot and surviving. After Old World Blues, the courier becomes a cybernetically augmented human. Even if they get their brain, heart, and spine back, there will still be some advanced technologies that remain in place. A skilled courier may have a high understanding of Robco technology. In Honest Hearts, a courier with a high science skill can call out Ricky's incompetence with his locked Pip-Boy. In Old World Blues, the courier can recognize the Robco signals that Dr. 8 transmits. The courier is also apparently able to understand Ed E's incomprehensible beeping and is even able to tell the difference between its emotions through its beeping. One of the epilogues of Old World Blues states that the courier knows very little about communism or high schools. According to Ulysses, the courier has been to Circle Junction, New Reno, Vault City, Fort Abandon, and on Brahman Drives at the Big Circle. The courier has very limited knowledge of the Midwest, as when Ed E. from the Divide plays the log from when a child found it, asking it where that occurred will have Ed E. respond with Chicago, Illinois. The courier knows about Illinois if they have met the Mojave Ed E., Illinois. So that's where you got that plate. The other you, I mean, but is unaware of it if they have not, Illin what? Come on you're making that name up. Regardless of if they have met the Mojave Ed E., the courier does not know about Chicago, asking, what's a Chicago? An intelligent courier may have at least passing knowledge of snipers and spotters, as Boone can be recruited by simply noting that snipers are supposed to work in pairs. When speaking with the lonesome drifter, and learning that he is from Montana and trying to track down his estranged father, a male courier with the lady killer perk can nervously ask the drifter if he happens to be 17 years old, then expresses relief when he says he is 28, implying the courier impregnated, or believes he impregnated, a woman in Montana at some point around 2264. The courier may not understand one of Arcade Gannon's Latin phrases, indicating unfamiliarity with the language. However, an intelligent courier will know enough Latin to trick a centurion. An intelligent courier can have knowledge of ancient Roman mythology and American history, as they can recognize that Ulysses took his name from Ulysses S. Grant, not the mythological figure Ulysses, by his pronunciation of the name. Dialogue with Raul indicates that the courier may have at least a passing knowledge of Spanish, using the word, vaquero. A female courier knows how to use the heels of her feet in a sexually gratifying way according to potential partner Benny. When Caesar mentions the concept of Hegelian dialectics, the courier can claim to be unaware of that concept. After hearing one of the Ed E. clone's recordings and discovering that the Ed E. clone is trying to find their way home, the courier can remark that they feel the same way and adds, why do you think I became a courier? In dialogue with Keith, the courier can claim to have once been a con artist. In the endings for Old World Blues, 
the courier returns to Big MT and watches over it, keeping a close eye over the sciences and goings-on of the facility while gradually reintroducing sciences both forgotten and new back into the wasteland as needed. 